this is Lorxboy98, and today I will be showing you my Halo Reach collection. And I'll start off with the DMR. <clears throat> this is the second gun I've made from cardboard. It has the the charging handle which works and it opens up on the other side so if you put a shell in there and you close it the shell will end up right there and yeah it looks cool there's the scope I know it's a bit big but whatever it's the second gun This thing here is a bit wiggly, I need to fix that, and so is the barrel. And then there's the the mag for it, and I know it's not done right, but whatever. Just slips in there. Just like that. You have the DMR. And I have the <clears throat> a Halo Reach stand that I also made out of cardboard for it. The Noble Team logo. And the Reach and the Halo O. And those things right there are I'm gonna give it to my friend for his birthday, so I figured I'd paint it up and make it look battle damage and whatnot. And I have my Magnum, which has uh, the mag, whoops, which is pretty tiny. I didn't like it, so I made the extended mag, like in Halo CE, but I don't know where it went to. So, this use a shrimpy mag, it's unpainted. And then this has the the caulking mechanism which is pretty cool I like it it's not 100% accurate but you all know what it is still haven't put anything right there And then I have my sniper rifle, which isn't completely finished. This still needs to go on the barrel. And the magazine comes out. So I'll put all the detail on the sniper. It also has the charging handle. And the scope I am this is the first gun I've made out of cardboard. It is my George heavy machine gun. George's turret. Here's the the ammo cartridge for it fits right in there. Well, I need to resize this because when it fell off, I and when I when it fell off, I glued it back on and it was a bit too small, so I need to fix that. I also need to fix this. It came off. But I know some of you won't believe me, but this is my first gun made out of cardboard. I still need to add this piece right here, which connects the gun to the tripod. There it is. That's my favorite so far. 
I have this, which I started a few days ago. This is my AR. It's just the end of it so far. I have the Mark VI helmet that I'm making out of Pepakura, which is obviously isn't complete yet, but it's getting there. And I have a gauntlet that I made, which also isn't quite complete. I have this shin which has been resined and has some fiberglass on the inside but I gotta do a lot of repair on it maybe I might just do a new one as you can see that's broken and it was like that when it hardened so I had to cut down the center there or right along there so I could bend it because fiberglass is freaking hard but yeah I just might start a new one you can see isn't too pretty and then I have the costume which I know most of you or some of you won't believe me when I say I did I did this in a couple of days yeah, two days before Halloween Well, the helmet is from last year. It has just been repainted and I added a new visor in it. I know it's not the best, but it works. It's dark. No one's really going to see it. So yeah, that's my recon helmet. Inside isn't painted that much. Well, isn't painted at all, actually. And here's my lighting there's my security shoulder I know the paint job isn't 100% and it is missing that big piece right there in the center because like I said I only had two days then there's the the bicep piece which is basically just a cylinder which I have to redo I'm probably going to redo the security shoulder altogether because it is a bit small. And here's the worst piece out of them all <clears throat> is my right shoulder piece, which is the Mark V. I know I didn't do a very well job on it, very good. And the bicep also is just a cylinder, not that detailed. But yeah, obviously have to redo that. Then there's my left gauntlet. And then my right gauntlet. That thing right there is so I can put my phone in there which is a Blackberry Curve um, 85 whatever the number is but I would show you it in there but that's what I'm using to record so that's my right gauntlet and then here's my one of my shins can't really see it that well the FJ para knee here's the other shin Here's the thigh piece.
personally, I like the way they turned out. And this part right here, um, I made a little knob thing for my magnum. So you put, you slide the tab end of the knob in there, and you put the the peg part of the knob in that hole, and you just stick the magnum right on the thigh. That looked pretty cool. And then. Here's my other thigh piece with the soft case, which is small, I know, but yeah. And like I said, I like the way they turned out. They look pretty cool. And here's the, the cod piece, which has like no detail at all. And then there's my chest piece. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. And these things sticking out which are ridiculous, I know, but they're so I can put the DMR on the back and it stays there pretty well. And the side pieces here have like no detail because of my limited amount of time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, all my work is done by eye. I have no instructions except for the Pepatura stuff. And it doesn't really take me that long, like, altogether, to make the DMR was maybe like under 24 hours. That sounds a bit too much, but whatever. But yeah, that is my armory for now, and I will be making more. So, if you're interested in more, comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Lorksboy98, signing out.